A lot of excitement about that. I mean, we have We've gone against each other. We've probably done that about enough for now. We'll get back at it next week, but then we have the commanders coming in, so we're looking forward to those practices and that game. But uh, the next step is to get on the field and play a game with the guys that are going to play and see how they do. John, how good is it to have Rashad Bateman back on the field day two for him? And what does his ramp up here kind of look like? Yeah, I mean, he's doing a great job. I think we'll see as we go, but it's very promising right now. He, he's, he looked good to me, and uh, I'm, I'm excited to see him out there. Obviously, it's big for us. It really is. To see him become the player he's become, person, the leader he's become, then they get to get rewarded for it like that. It's, it's, a, it's, just, it's great for him, his family, obviously. But it's also great as a message. It's great as a message in terms of what it takes to be successful in this league. Really good question. You know, was, uh, how, how has the offense reacted to the growing pains of a new offense going in? You know, I think they've done great. We're better every day. It becomes sharper and crisper every day. We will find out when we play games. I mean, obviously, that's more of a, of a, of a telltale than practices, but I feel good about where we're at in practice, and I am looking forward to seeing what it looks like. What's it like for you seeing this reaction? I mean, Odell walks out. So the reaction the kids have to him. Like, you know, there's been stars on this team, but Odell gets a massive reaction. It's just exciting for the whole for the guys. I mean, every player that walks up there does a great job. You saw Tucker, you know, Lamar, obviously, all the other guys working the, working down here. So many kids here. I just it's amazing to me how many kids come to our training camp. I mean, it's got to be kids like four to one, five to one. You know, it's really fun, and they're they're into it, man. It's I love that, you know, you have to love Ravens flock, you know, the flock, Ravens nation, all the different things that we call it. I heard Ray, we were doing the Ravens, uh, we're, we're R-A-V-E-N-S, Ravens. Now we're doing that now, huh? I like it. I like it. We'll take it. We'll use it. The Eagles can have their E-A-G-L-E-S. We'll take our R-A-V-E-N-S, right? Two different words. John, uh, I saw Mark Anderson. It's always so competitive. when he doesn't make a play. How do you celebrate that? And, and do you have to wrangle it in when you know, it's 14 days of camp and he's still going a million miles an hour? What you said speaks volumes. I think that really obviously, honestly says it all. That's who he is. He wants to make plays. He wants the ball. He wants to be perfect in his routes. He wants to block people. That's just who Mark is. I think he sets a tone for a whole team. No, no, Marlon's not going to play anything, you know, but he, it's, it's an issue. There's no question. I mean, we've had those guys that have been kind of just been in and out. You know, Pepe's coming back, so, you know, it's, it's not a new injury or anything like that, but he's got, he's got to bring it back and get up to speed. And then these little tweaky things that are happening to the guys are, are you know, they're annoying. There's no doubt about it. And, they're, and the players are annoyed by it, too, you know. So, uh, yeah, we've got, to, we've got to look at that for sure. Right, well, Tyler and James, you know, those guys are having a great, both having great camps, making a lot of plays. And, uh, and I would also add, you know, Tread has done a great job, made a bunch of plays. Tariq Black has made a bunch of plays. Shamar made a nice play out there today. Uh, young receivers are doing a great job. I mean, really, all the way through the group, those guys have really showed up, you know, not just the, the top five guys, you know, we talk about, but the top five guys have done well, too. I mean, DuVernay, du Duve had a couple big plays today. So uh, it was good to see the deep balls today. You know, we connected on a number of deep balls today, which was good to see. So happy with those guys. No Lamar for Saturday. Uh, oh yeah, I think so. I mean, I I haven't heard otherwise, you know. Uh, and you know, it's, so you're saying we still got a chance, you know? We 
we got a chance, and uh, and we're looking at we're, we're looking at other guys too. You know, that visited in the past. So I don't think the door is closed on any of those guys. Uh, he had a really good visit. So as far as the game, kind of to your question, uh, you won't be seeing any of the established starters in this game. Uh, some of the young, if this guy's a real young starter, maybe he'll get a few reps, but uh, none of the established starters. John, this isn't a comparison question, but it's, it's interesting to see, like, Philly, I don't think they have back-to-back -back practices more than once in the first couple of weeks. I know you guys have kind of dialed back the intensity in recent years, but how much do you think just the volume of practices that you guys had, combined with the quality that you guys teach, and just like the undrafted, has contributed in any way to the preseason suit that you guys have? You know, it's a great question. I, I, we do we do believe in our process. We do trust it. It has evolved over the years, to your point. Uh, you know, it's, it's different than it was 15 years ago, 10 years ago, 5 years ago. And it'll probably change in the next 5 years as well. And I don't mean to say it's just becoming to be less. I think a lot of it's smart. I mean, you talk to these guys and you look at the, the analytics on it, they're expending a lot of energy out there. They're working hard. They try to do it in ways to keep them safe, but also get them ready to play as best we can, you know. Those aren't, I don't think, conflicting necessarily conflicting goals you know you want them to go together as much as you can make it happen and they've done a great job plus our guys have take, taken care of each other within the plays really well so I'm really proud of that I mean I expect us to be in really good shape you know now they're not coming off of much rest you know they're gonna go into that game a little bit not completely recovered because that's how training camp is uh, so um, I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing how we play and how we execute Saturday night Absolutely. I think the game will go a long way in deciding that, you know, that order, that pecking order there. I would say this, all those guys have shown that they're capable of being that guy. You know, everybody, all the three quarterbacks after Lamar have proven that they're capable of being the backup quarterback here and doing a great job. Now we just hey, see who separates. We're going to do two more guys. John, um, is Zay a guy you'd like to see? But it's a possibility. Yeah, it's a possibility. You'd like to see him. You'd like to see him out there, uh, in terms of just having a sense of the game before the first regular season game. We'll have to see how healthy he is and where we're at.